Good morning, everybody. Do you feel like some chicken tonight? Well, we've got five tasty and easy meals you can make with store bought rotisserie chicken. Everyone's laughing at that. You remember? Do you feel like chicken tonight? tonight? Like chicken tonight? We've got Vanessa John Francesco here. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me. Oh, it smells delicious. So we start with this. You always right. have leftovers. So you go into the your grocery store, you grab a rotisserie chicken, and you're saying, What am I going to do with this? Yeah. The first thing I do when I get this from the store is just remove all of the chicken. So I shred it all up, and this way you can really stretch that dollar with it. Okay, so once you have done that, so you yes. remove the meat, you Removed take the bone. The yeah, you take the bone. Now, most people just throw that bone in the garbage. Yeah. What I like to do is actually make a stock with it. So here's my really quick stock. I've got the basics, so carrots, celery, a little onion. I like to put garlic in there. I like to put half a lemon in I there as lemon. well. Some peppercorn and some bay leaf with some dill. Oh, dill. Okay, dill nice. Dill is so good. I'm telling you, you need to try it. It's and actually delicious. How long do you leave it in the pot? So you want to bring everything to a boil. Then you lower it to a little slimmer, and then you let it go for about two hours. Two hours. So I like to do that like on a Sunday. Just let it go while I'm cooking my meals for the week. And of course, cover it because otherwise it yes. gets dehydrated and all. So goes not completely evaporates. covered, semi-covered, where it's just gonna. Semi. Yes, semi-covered. <laughs> <laughs> so after that, I make this delicious lasagna. Now this is really fun because you're going to use that chicken stock. You're going to do layers of chicken stock, uh, shredded chicken, peas, carrots. Look at these colored carrots I've got in here. They're Beautiful. lovely. And then you just layer this up, put the chicken in the oven. Okay. Yes. Another use? Another use is these wonderful little club sandwiches. And I've changed it up a little bit. I've actually put in some crispy prosciutto and some cucumber slices. Oh, fresh. It adds a really fresh crispiness to the whole dish. Like a pulled uh, taco with, with pork or what have you, or you right. use chicken. Right. Right, exactly. So I used to have some iceberg lettuce. This I really love because I put all the ingredients out. It's a no-cook meal, literally. And then you have your guests just pile them on and make their own little tacos. Mm, Isn't that little fun? cilantro, yum yum lime. Some pickled red onion, some lime, some jalapenos, a little salsa, guacamole. Hot sauce. Yeah. What is that? Uh, is that cilantro? The, sorry, the cheese. Uh, the or cheese, that sour cream. It's, it's sour cream. There we go. Just a little dollop of sour cream. And we're going to make this today. And we're going to make that delicious frittata that you see right at the end. Okay. So you're starting off with something that I would wish came in an air freshener, which is onions, olive oil, and garlic. Oh, it smells so <laughs> It fragrant. reminds me of my nonna's kitchen in the morning yeah. on Sundays when she was making her sauce. So very reminiscent. So just, you're going to let them go till they're translucent or sort of, um, you know, clear as you can see the color yeah. and soft. Okay. In a bowl in the meantime, I've got some eggs cracked up. Can you mix those for With me, please? With your pleasure. Thank you. So however many you need, right? However many you need. This recipe calls for eight. Okay. And you've got uh, some salt and pepper in there. And you can actually pour in some cream. Now, I'm putting you to the test. You're going to free pour some uh -oh. cream. Free pour about okay. half a cup in there. You can do it. I'm not a pro like you. <laughs> no, I trust you. Half a cup? Half a cup. You got it. Okay. You're all set. Thickens it up. Yes. And into the onions, I've got a little bit of zucchini and a little cherry tomato. Now, immediately, you see the, how fresh this is. Mm -hmm. What I love about a frittata is you can actually do this in any way you like, right? So you can put any vegetables you've got in your fridge. Use them up. Just use them up. Absolutely. And you can do, I love zucchini because you can actually do this in cubes, slices, or shredded. Yum. Zucchini shredded is lovely. And it only needs a couple of minutes because you don't want the minutes, tomatoes exactly. to turn into sauce, right? In goes, exactly. So in goes that shredded chicken that we had, right? Just to warm it up. Just to warm it up really quickly. And now what's lovely about a frittata is that you're just going to pour over those eggs okay. on top of all of your ingredients. So I'll have you do that. So we pour it over as opposed to an omelet which gets folded. That's right. So you're going to make sure that the egg reaches all of the corners. Okay. And now there is a little technique to this. Okay, let's hear it. So you want to curdle the egg. So what you want to do is you want to just grab the egg from the center, sorry, from the edge, and move it into the center constantly. My mom taught me this trick. Yeah! I <laughs> that, turn this way, this <laughs> we way have the it same. Evens, it evens out the exactly. cooking of the egg, right? You got it. And it actually doesn't make it into a scramble, so it just makes those really nice waves of egg. Look how gorgeous this is. And now, then it settles in. Yeah. And regardless your cooking skill in the kitchen, anyone can make this. It's true. Okay? And you're going to impress your guests. So you do this for a few minutes and then you pop it in the oven. That's right. Then you pop it into the oven. So once the bottom sets, you pop it into the oven. What I like to do is just pour a little bit of shredded cheese right over the top. And if you're looking for a way to get more protein or more veggies into this, yeah. go ahead and grab a yellow zucchini and grate it. It looks like cheddar cheese. Oh, yeah. Because of the peel. Tricks the eyes. <laughs> What do you set the oven at? So I like it at 375. It goes in for about 10 minutes. What's lovely about it is it goes in, it's going to puff up. It's so pretty. Like a quiche. Exactly. And then when you take it out, it looks like this. You made me some. I made you a little baby bite. Mm. Tell me how you that is. You could also put this in a sandwich. You can, of course. Some hot sauce or ketchup. <laughs> she Just has saying. my heart, this Morning, one. Morning, noon, and night. And we're half 
paisans because we, you're half <laughs> Molisano, like my mom. I know. So this Beautiful. is, we're family some way, somehow, down we the are. lines. You're a <laughs> sweetheart. You so At Cooking with V, for more information, breakfasttelevision.ca. Great ideas. Thanks we'll be so back much. with more BT right after this. Really good. <laughs>